is up, Math Made Easy fans. Today we have a really epic problem and it's going to deal with some cool weights. We're going to do some geometric means. It's going to be a fun Friday night here in the Math Made Easy studios. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is about me riding my bike. I think it's a cool problem. I just made it up myself five minutes ago. I hope you like it. Math Made Easy wants to ride his bicycle to his girlfriend's house. Unfortunately, she lives on the other side of a mountain. I live in a fairly, uh, pretty mountainous area of the United States, so this does happen to me sometimes. The ascent is three miles, and the descent is all, another three miles, so six miles total. Math Made Easy descends at 20 miles per hour. He wants to get there in 30 minutes. At what speed must he attend? Ascend. Okay, so let's draw a diagram first. Helps me when I have like a kind of a traveling problem like this to draw a diagram. So here is Math Made Easy. Here is Math Made Easy's girlfriend. You can tell why I don't have a drawing YouTube channel. And he's going to ascend, and then he's going to descend, right? And we have three miles, and then we have another three miles, okay? And we got to get there in 30 minutes. And I can go downhill at 20 mph. So let's find out first what is the average speed we have to go at for me to reach my girlfriend's house on time. So six miles, 30 minutes. So in miles per hour, which is gonna be our units for this, um, six miles over half an hour, that's gonna be 12 miles per hour. So I'll need to be at 12 miles per hour, averaging this whole time. So you might be tempted to just say, okay, well the mean of 20 and four is gonna be 12, so he must ascend at four miles per hour, but actually, we're not gonna take the arithmetic mean, we are gonna take the geometric mean. Why do we take the geometric mean? Because think about it. <clears throat> if I'm gonna run, or if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna ride 12 miles per hour, that's gonna be a five minute mile. If I'm gonna ride 15 miles per hour, that's gonna be a four minute mile. If I wanted to ride a three minute mile, then you would think I would just ride 18 miles per hour, but actually I have to ride 20. Kind of like exponentializes. And when we are dealing with variable, when we're dealing with stuff like that, we gotta use the geometric mean. So, geometric mean, once again, is the square root of AB. Okay, A times B. This is gonna be our A, 20 is our B. And we need this to equal 12, so that means AB, just square both sides, equals 144. Divide both sides by 20, and we get 7.2 equals A. It should be A equals 7.2, but you get the point. So, for me to get to my girlfriend's house on time, I'll have to ascend at 7.2 miles per hour, and then descend at 20, as given. So, Hope that problem helps you guys. Some geometric means, some kind of like rates in there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. For now, my name is Math Made Easy. Have a nice night.